Ian Salisbury, uh, reaction to that uh, that defeat? Uh, first, well played to Worcester. Um, we knew it was going to be a struggle win. Obviously, we've got seven frontline bowlers out. It was always going to be a tough ask. A couple of teams, you know, playing third game in a row, young kids. Um, I thought Grant Stewart did well on his debut for us. And obviously, George Burroughs playing his first or second game in our first game for us. So, 4 night was too many first innings. That's the reality of it. Just how difficult is it, Ian, with these bowlers injured, just trying to, to keep the spirits of the side up as much as anything else? Oh, no, the spirit's good. Um, that's They're aware of the situation. There's, there's things that are out of your hands. It is frustrating, you know, for myself, trying to get a side together. Um, and I think it can take its toll, obviously, on the batters. You know, two of our batters have had to bowl quite a few overs as well. So, and then even Rizwa <laughs> come over and he's done 150 overs virtually two games in a row. That's that's hard work for somebody even of his standing. Let's talk about who who might return. What's what's the situation with Ollie Robinson? He's been down here this week. Who, who, whose decision is it? How does that work, Ian? It's well, obviously, as you know, he's an ECB player, contracted player. So, um, look, we're hopeful. I, I really hope he can play for us next week. But obviously, that's out of our hands. So he, so the decision is, is out of your hands, and we just mm-hmm. have to see what what can you do to precipitate that? Can you sort of say to the ECB, he's, he's fit or? No, we can't. That's the whole point. Um, and that's the... You know, look, that's just the way it is. You know, like I said, we've got seven bowlers, frontline bowlers who are first-team bowlers out of action at present, and that makes it difficult. Game's coming thick and fast. Durham coming up on Thursday. How many, if any, of those might be available, Ian? Um, fortunately, none of them. <laughs> that's that's the harsh reality. Obviously, one of the seven is Robinson, so he's potentially the one out of the seven, but the other six are not available. You've explored the loan market. You've got Grant Stewart. Is there is there anything else you can do, Ian? Uh, and, and unfortunately, Grant's been recalled by Kent as well. Wow. So he won't be available next no. week. Crumb. So so what can you do? I mean, you, I mean, I mean you're looking the, in the loan market look, I, again? Or? It's not excuses or anything. I, I don't look for excuses because... That is just nature of the job. But I think anybody in my position trying to put together a side it is very difficult at present. Yeah, and extremely frustrating. So you're looking around. And if you take positives from the game, uh, Bujara again. I mean, we know he's a quality batsman. What sort of effect is he having around the group of young oh, players? I mean, look, I mean, look, we're very aware of the nature of our squad. Um, you know, the amount of people who are available for red ball versus white ball. There's first and foremost that white ball team is very experienced so for the red ball which is a developing side that we we want to come to fruition over the next couple of years so to surround them with people like Pajar and Rizwan is crucial to that and people like that's why we got Steve Finn etc and all that so it, they are crucial around these young players 